My 2017 Transit has been stuck in Oklahoma being worked on for almost two and a half months now. Your hustle gotta be strong in this industry, as in any other industry. You heard that right, almost two and a half months that van has been down. The reason it's been there is that the driver that was in it had an accident. He, it was a one vehicle accident. He's okay. The van isn't. All right, so what had happened, uh, his version of it is that uh, he was driving along. He was on a side route. He said the wind pushed him. Basically, it was a soft shoulder, and he got pushed off the shoulder, and then there was a concrete facing. I'm going to add some pictures on here so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. But it's a concrete facing to a drainage ditch that went under the uh, under the highway, under the road. And uh, by the looks of it, he got pushed pretty far off, was coming back onto the road. Because what it did is on the passenger side, again, you'll see the pictures. And I'm still explaining with my hands though. Uh, there's damage all along the passenger side. And then the rear axle is just shoved all the way back. This happened on February 28th. So however exactly long that is from that point, that's how long I've been dealing with this. That van was under load at the time, so I had to get the load rescued. Luckily, we had a driver in the area, another driver in the area, and he was able to come down, meet up with this driver that had the accident, and the two drivers along with the police officer was able to transfer the load. If we hadn't had another driver in the area, uh, the broker that we was dealing with doing this load for, they was wanting the vehicle towed down to uh, Tulsa, which was roughly an hour away. So that would have been that that would have been a pain in the ass to get it towed down there. And then there was a Ford dealer kind of nearby where this happened, uh, and that's where I wanted it towed. So that luckily it all worked out. Got it towed to the Ford dealer, and this is where the fun begins. I call in, make the claim. Get the claim started immediately. Same day. Got it started. Uh, let them know where the vehicle's at. And then from that point, it's wait for them to send an adjuster out there. You know, get a, you know, assess the damage, get an estimate, and, you know, go forward with repairs or whatnot. So this took a couple of weeks before they decided, oh, well, Ford can't do it. We're going to send it down to... Tulsa to a Kenworth dealer. So the reason they said Ford couldn't do it is Ford claims they don't have any lift for the tall van. Uh, I never did verify that, but if they're saying that, that's the case, whatever it may be. So they want to get it towed down to the Kenworth dealer. So after that update, I'm not hearing anything, I'm not hearing anything, I'm not hearing anything. I'm calling. I'm calling the uh, claims agent. She's not returning my calls. I call again. She finally returns my call. Try, they, they tell me that Ford is giving them some kind of issues or whatnot, they claim. Then they say, oh, no, well, we got it. We're getting it down there right now. And then she sends me the address to exactly where it's going. Time goes by, time goes by, trying to find out what's going on. Do we have an estimate yet? And mind you, we're roughly a month into this now already. We haven't even gotten an estimate yet. Uh, all kinds of BS going on. They're spinning me. I'm talking to the supervisor. I'm talking to the claims agent. I'm talking to my local agents. I'm going every avenue that I can go to try and get something done about this. And the unfortunate side of all this is there's no coverage that uh, basically pays me for downtime. So during all this time, I'm paying my weekly insurance because I can't take off the insurance due to it being under a claim because I called in and asked about that. They said that I couldn't like cancel the insurance or lower it or anything like that. So I have to keep paying the same insurance. Uh, obviously, I have a van payment on that, so I'm still having to pay the van payment on that. So I continue to try and figure out what's going on. Uh, about two months into this, I, I get in touch with the uh, body guy at, at Kenworth. And he's telling me how he's had issues prior with Progressive. And since I didn't mention that already, I have Progressive Insurance. Uh, as any of you that are in this business know, Progressive is kind of the main provider out here. And they can be expensive. You pay a lot of money for this insurance. And to have this poor of quality 
of service is totally unacceptable. And I've been making this clear to everybody that's involved in this claim. Uh, the guy at the Kenworth dealer claims that they've had issues dealing with this, uh, you know, these progressive reps out there in the past. And so what was going on there once it got to the Kenworth dealer is that uh, Progressive had come to them with a with a uh, tentative estimate, and they had labor hour uh, the hourly labor wage way lower than what Kenworth was you know charging. So they had to get that taken care of. So my experience dealing with insurance claims, and I've had a I've had two of them you know through the insurance policy, and both of them have been pretty simple. But both of those also have been taken care of in my hometown. So it's usually I just find a spot, I take it. I get an estimate. The adjuster comes out. He estimates it. You know them and the, the whatever shop they're dealing with. You know arrange. You know decide on the final amount and what's going on. Easy peasy. Been super freaking easy prior to this. What is going on out there in Oklahoma? I have no clue, man. One too many tornadoes got them all shook up. They don't know how to think. I have no clue, but they are not doing their job. So. To continue, I talk to the guy out there, and I and I tell him, you know, my experience with dealing with the claims is, you know, get an estimate from the shop that it's going to. And he says, well, we haven't done a done an estimate or pulled it in because we've had problems prior with Progressive. So you got Progressive dragging their feet, the shop not wanting to bring it in because of their history with the with that uh, agent or that uh, insurance provider. So now we're kind of at an impasse of who's going to do something. I, I get in touch with the the adjuster. They keep telling me, oh, we're getting on it. We're doing it, uh, blah, blah. They're blaming it on the shop. The shop is blaming it on the insurance guys. So I just asked the shop. I was like, hey, you know, do you mind just go ahead and pulling it in, getting an estimate on it, and then I'll you know, do what I got to do to get it taken care of as far as making sure that Progressive pays you guys and gets this started. And he says, yeah, I'll get it pulled in here and I'll get an estimate. So from that point, we've been making progress. Finally got it pulled in, got a full estimate. Progressive agrees with the estimate. Uh, they've had to update some things that Progressive didn't have. Progressive has approved it. So now we're just in the repair phase. Last uh, last uh, update I had was that the body work was getting done. They've ordered parts for, the, uh, for all the mechanical stuff. So we're just in a slow process as usual, ordering parts, getting them fixed, all that good shit. So... As I said, we're about two and a half months into this, and it took two months just to get an estimate. You couple that with the low rates and the low volume, uh, being down that van, only having one van going full time. Yeah, things have been super tight, and uh, that's what's had me out here kind of doing some running just here and there, which I'm on a little short run right now. But this is the kind of stuff that you should not have to deal with if you're paying good money for insurance. If any of you guys have any suggestions on what I can do to... Uh, get some resolution to all this uh i'm i'm, I'm open because i've been contacting anybody i can think of uh my next things are basically just go to the website see if i can get in touch with some kind of customer service complaint department or something you know making this video talking about progressive uh doing whatever i can just to kind of get somebody's attention because this is absolutely unacceptable now if any of you are asking the driver as I said, he was okay. He was uninjured. There was no other vehicles involved. Uh, I did let that driver go. I hated to do it. I really did. He's a nice guy and everything. Uh, but there had been some issues that I've had prior. Uh, miscellaneous damages to the van that shouldn't have been happening. Uh, mapping it. Just, just other issues. So this was kind of a... I think this was kind of a situation where... It was kind of a force my hand kind of thing to make me do what I needed to do. And, and again, as I said, he's a, he's a good guy. I feel bad that this had to happen this way and that it had to happen at all. But again, it's business. You got to keep business separate from personal stuff. So uh, business-wise, it had to happen. But yeah, guys, so this is what you deal with being whether you're an owner-operator, whether you're a fleet owner. But if you have any vans that you own and you're running out here, this is the kind of stuff that can happen. Uh, there's going to be accidents, there's going to be claims, there's going to be repairs, there's going to be engine replacements. All of these things are going to happen at some time if you're in this business long enough. 
So just understand that this is just a regular part of what goes on and be prepared for it. Uh, you know, I'm super pissed off with Progressive that this stuff has been lingering like it has, but at the same time, I'm not like not like super pissed off or or anything like that at the industry. Like I said, I know what it is. I, I know what the industry is about, so this is just kind of roll with the punches kind of thing, uh, but it's just dealing with progressive individually uh, aside from the business itself is uh, something that I got to deal with. So, all right, guys, I'm going to get off here. Till the next video, guys. Holler.